Do you need a reliable source of income while you're out there traveling the world? Well, then tune in today as I talk about everything you need to know about renting to travel nurses. Hello there, and if you're new here, my name is Seppi, rhymes with Peppy from SheHitRefresh.com, and I help women aged 30 and over break free from a life of routine to move abroad or travel the world long term, which is exactly what I did about seven years ago in 2015 when I moved from Texas to Spain, and I've been here ever since. It was the best decision of my 30s, and if you're here too, you're probably thinking of doing something quite similar. So I want to thank you so much for stopping by my channel. This is a channel where I talk about moving abroad, specifically for U.S. citizens. And I would love to invite you to like this video, turn on notifications, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any future move abroad content. So if you love to travel long term for months at a time or even longer and don't want to have to pay in two places, your mortgage or rent back home and your accommodation abroad, then renting to a travel nurse might be a really lucrative solution for you. It's a great way to have someone trustworthy cover your costs and live in your home while you're away. But before we go any further, I just want to give my weekly shout out and this week's shout out goes to Mr. Lynch who commented on my video moving to Ireland from the US and Mr. Lynch says, you say to help women move abroad, but what about dudes like myself trying to move out of the cesspit of a state, California? New subscriber, always good content. Well, Mr. Lynch, thank you so much for stopping by and for your kind words about my channel. And yes, She Hit Refresh is specifically a community for women age 30 and over, but if you do not fit into that demographic and would like to work with me, you can definitely work with me and you'll find information below on how to do that. But of course, all of my content here on the YouTube YouTube channel, my Instagram, TikTok, and our website is open to everybody, whether you are a woman age 30 and over or you're a dude like Mr. Lynch. All right, so if you would like to get a shout out, please be sure to comment or drop a question below and you never know, you might be the next shout out that I choose. Okay, so let's dive into today's topic, renting to travel nurses. So the first question is, what exactly is a travel nurse? So a travel nurse is a medical professional. So think doctor, nurse, physical therapist, or radiologist, physician's assistant, who is a contract worker that works in facilities like hospitals and clinics around the US and even sometimes around the world. So travel nurses work with agencies that help to fill nursing gaps uh, throughout the US. So they get placed in temp positions for about 12 weeks in a healthcare facility before they move on to the next one. So as you can see, as they move from assignment to assignment in different locations, they're gonna need housing while they're there, or temporary housing while they're there, and that's where you come in in renting your home to a travel nurse. So let's talk about what are the benefits to renting to a travel nurse. So the first one here is generating income. So like I mentioned before, instead of leaving your home vacant while you travel or having to pay two places at the same time, your mortgage or your rent and your accommodation abroad, you can rent to a travel nurse and they will not only help cover your costs, but you might be able to make a profit too along the way. Most travel nurses are really well paid. So that means that they can usually pay above market rates, especially for a turnkey home. And that just means a home that is fully furnished. So the next benefit is that you're gonna have less turnover over. So if you do have a property that you do like to rent, instead of having this revolving door of tenants, you can rent out to a travel nurse who you know is going to be there from anywhere from 10 to 14 weeks. So this can help not only with the cost, but also the headaches of a short-term rental, of having to coordinate for the cleaners, cleaning the apartment, having the sheets changed, replacing things, etc. And the last benefit here is that you're renting to reliable renters. So by renting to travel nurses, you can ensure that you are renting to a professional who most likely won't be using your home as a party home, which does happen on Airbnb. And you can assume since they're a specialist with a career that they do have a reliable income and have been working consistently for a decent amount of time. And also since they're a medical professional, they will have had to have passed the hospital or medical background check. So that can give you a little peace of mind. And of course, I will encourage you to do your own background checks and we'll get to that in a little bit. All right, so the next topic here is to ask yourself or understand if you can even rent to travel nurses. So I'm gonna talk about both scenarios here, whether you're a homeowner or a renter. So if you're a homeowner, it's probably gonna be a little bit easier to be able to rent to a travel nurse, but one thing that you do have to check is check with your HOA or your homeowners association to see if there are any rules against this and to verify if short-term rentals are allowed on your property. 
I know in my case, for my home back in Austin, I'm a part of an HOA and they do not allow short-term rentals of less than six months. So I probably wouldn't be able to rent to travel nurses because they would not be staying there for more than a few weeks or a few months. So if you are renting an apartment or a home, you're gonna have to check your lease to see if subletting is allowed because that's what you would be doing here if you are renting out your home or apartment that you are just renting that you do not own. Sometimes subletting is allowed as long as you have permission from the owner, but often it isn't. So you're gonna have to check your lease and even if it says that subletting is not allowed, sometimes these rental contracts are just a standard contract that your landlord maybe hasn't looked into so deeply. So just double check with them to see see if it is allowed, even if your contract says that it's not. You never know. And remember, if you are renting your apartment or home out that you do not own, you will still be responsible for making those monthly rental payments and paying any utilities and costs that you have to the owner and the travel nurse will be paying you. Whether you're a homeowner or a renter, you're gonna wanna check with your property insurance to see if there's anything that you need to add to cover any mishaps when renting to someone else. So now that we know whether or not you're able to rent your place to travel nurses, let's talk about what travel nurses are even looking for to see if your home is a viable option for them. So if you're located near a major hospital, your property is obviously gonna be more desirable than a home that's located in the middle of nowhere. But don't worry, if your home isn't located next to a hospital, there are plenty of travel nurses who are willing to drive, so just check on their profile. They'll let you know their driving distance, and we'll talk about those profiles in a little bit. All right, next, they're also looking for a turnkey accommodation. So as I mentioned before, turnkey just means a fully furnished home. So you wanna have a home that is move-in ready because travel nurses are moving from assignment to assignment and they're not taking a lot with them. So they're gonna need to have all of those amenities in the house for them already. Travel nurses love having a fully equipped kitchen, so think coffee maker, microwave, all the silverware, pots, pans, etc. Some other big perks for them are going to be on-site laundry and on-site parking. So now that we know what travel nurses are looking for, let's talk about where can we find these travel nurses. All right, so if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm a big fan of Facebook groups. I think they are great for people who are looking to move abroad, but they're also great in this case for anyone looking to find travel nurses and also advertise their property to travel nurses. So one Facebook group that comes recommended is Gypsy Soul Travel Nurse Housing Options. So just do a little search on Facebook to look for travel nursing sites or travel nursing groups in your area. Another place you can look is Furnished Finder. So Furnished Finders is a website where you can advertise your home to travel nurses and medical professionals, but for a fee. Now when listing your site, you definitely wanna get a feel for what you should be pricing it at. So look for other similar properties in your area. And of course, when you are calculating the cost, make sure to put in your utilities and Wi-Fi as well in that final price. Of course, in addition to the price, you're gonna want to include information that travel nurses are looking for, like the dates that it's available, which hospitals are nearby and the distances, and also if pets are allowed. All right, and last year, I just wanna talk really briefly about covering your bases when renting to travel nurses. So once you have a travel nurse that is interested in staying at your home, you're just gonna make sure you cover your bases and talk about the basics with them. So you wanna go over the rental dates, the rental price, again, if pets are allowed, if there's parking, all of the things that I've already mentioned, but you're also going to want to run a background check or tenant screening as well. All right, and based on the information that comes from your tenant screening or background check, you can use that information to decide if they qualify to be a tenant at your property. And that's it. Once you guys are both in agreement, you can then create a rental contract and send that over and have them sign it. Some additional tips here to cover your bases is of course to get a security deposit ahead of time and make sure you have one separate for the apartment and a security deposit for pets if any pets are coming. Well, it's not required, some landlords do ask for a copy of the travel nurse's work contract. So it's probably smart to address in your rental contract what would happen in the case if a travel nurse's employment contract is canceled before the lease starts. So just so you know there, if there's any penalties there and you just have all your bases covered. All right, and that is it. I hope you found this video on renting to travel nurses helpful. I would love to hear from you. So if you have any questions, let me know below. Let me know if you tried travel nursing or you're interested in trying it. And of course, if you need any additional resources, please check out my book, I'm Out of Here, An American's Ultimate Visa Guide to Living in Europe, if you're interested in moving to Europe, where I go over the 18 easiest countries to move to based on viable visa options. You'll find over 50 visa options there. You can find the link below. And of course, if you 
you're a woman age 30 and over, please join my Facebook group, my free Facebook group, She Hit Refresh, where you can meet over 10,000 like-minded women. You'll find tons of information, resources, and inspiration there to help you make your move abroad. And if you need additional help, anyone out there, please check out how you can work with me from everything from one-on-ones to my virtual workshops as well. You can find all the information below. And last but not least, if you like this video, please give me a like, turn on notifications, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any future Move Abroad content.